In this video, you will learn to make cloudy headlight lenses like this. Look like this, using Scratch Wizard's UV headlight clear coat, guaranteed to last four years. First, mask off the areas around your headlight. Wet sand with the supplied 400 grit sandpaper. Wet sand with the supplied 600 grit sandpaper. Wet sand with the supplied 1000 grit sandpaper. Wipe clean with a lint free cloth. Apply multiple light coats of the UV clear coat from a distance of about 10 inches until your lens is clear. Let's compare a clear lens to a cloudy lens. The difference in visibility, as you can clearly see in this photo, is dramatic. In this video, you will learn how to make damaged pearl white paint like this look like this in about 40 minutes using a Scratch Wizard spray paint kit. After cleaning with wax and grease remover, scuff the surface 24 inches from the damage with a gray scuff pad. Sand out scratches with 220 grit sandpaper. Remove dust. Apply two or three light coats of primer. Apply our factory matched ground coat. This will be bright white. Note my technique. With flicks of the wrist, I apply many light coats of paint, being sure to blend the repair far beyond the original damage. Now apply our factory matched pearl mid coat. Be sure to cover your bright white ground coat. Apply paint horizontally and vertically to avoid creating stripes. Apply two light coats of clear coat being sure to cover all the paint you applied in the previous steps. Here's uh, two deep paint scratches in this Toyota Camry, and we will first repair with uh, the Duplicolor touch-up kit. You'll get uh, a very good color match, but the brush is entirely too big um, for most of these fine scratches, so ultimately what you end up with is uh, a paint blob. And uh, we'll repair the bottom scratch with the uh, 
scratch wizard system. First we uh, fill the scratch with uh, some scratch filling putty. We give you a chemical to remove the excess putty. You get a half ounce bottle of uh, color matched paint. And because the paint's a little bit thinner and your brush is far more accurate, you don't get the paint blob that you see above in the uh, duplicolor repair. And here's a look at the scratches before the repair and after the repair you can see the duplicolor touch-up uh, repair above and scratch wizard repair below. In this video you will learn to repair damage to plastic door panels using a scratch wizard spray paint repair kit. Scuff the repair area with a gray scuff pad. Clean with wax and grease remover. Sand the damage with 220 grit sandpaper. Remove dust. Apply a few light coats of primer. Apply multiple coats of factory matched spray paint. Note how lightly I apply the paint and how I pause frequently to avoid causing a run. Apply two light coats of clear coat. Use a steady left to right and right to left motion, being sure to overlap each pass. Get a spray paint kit for your car at scratchwizard.net and make minor paint flaws vanish, guaranteed. In this video, you'll learn to repair rock chips like these without creating paint blobs using your Scratch Wizard kit. First, clean with glass cleaner or soapy water. Apply paint to the supplied blue paper towel, then dab the paint over the chips until fully covered. I should note that you won't need the green masking tape that you see in this video. It was simply used to create a before and after photo for our website. Apply a small amount of scratch leveler to a new blue paper towel, then rub over the repair area with light pressure to remove excess paint.
you will probably find that the level or chemical removes paint from some of the chips. Just touch these up individually with your touch-up brush. Here's a look at this fender before the repair. And after the repair, we can see that these very small rock chips have been recolored without any ugly paint blobs. In this video, you will learn how to make damage like this look like this in about 40 minutes using a Scratch Wizard spray paint kit. After cleaning with wax and grease remover, scuff with a gray scuff pad. Mask off the surrounding areas. Sand with 220 grit sandpaper. Remove dust. Apply one or two light coats of primer. Apply as many light coats of our factory matched spray paint as necessary to cover the primer. Apply multiple light coats of clear coat from a distance of about 8 to 10 inches. Get a spray paint kit for your car at scratchwizard.net and make minor paint flaws vanish, guaranteed. In this video, you will learn how to take bumper damage like this and make it look like this using the Bumper Wizard bumper repair kit. Apply masking tape to adjacent panels and plastic trim that could be sprayed with paint. Wrap your scuff pad in coarse sandpaper and sand the bumper with firm pressure. Wipe away dust and clean the entire panel with wax and grease remover. You might find that some of the scratches won't sand out and uh, you'll want to apply a thin layer of scratch filling putty with uh, the supplied plastic spreader. Again, wrap uh, sandpaper around uh, your gray scuff pad and sand with uh, firm pressure over the, uh, over the putty.
sometimes you'll find that a second application of uh, of putty is is needed. Next, take your scuff pad and scuff a minimum of 10 inches in every direction from the repair area. And this is very important and ensures that the paint that you apply is uh, gonna permanently stick and be durable over time. Be sure to uh, apply uh, newspaper or butcher paper over any areas that uh, could possibly be uh, sprayed with with overspray from uh, from your paint cans. Now shake your uh, primer can for about 60 seconds and apply one thin layer. Now apply a heavy layer of primer until you've just about covered all of the bare black bare black plastic exposed uh, after you've sanded out the, uh, the scratches in your paint. With light pressure, uh, sand your primer until it feels smooth using your fine grit sandpaper. Shake your jar of paint for about 30 seconds and insert the spray unit. Now apply a, uh, a thin layer of, uh, of your paint. I found that uh, the paint was uh, going on with some bumps and I, I could see some cloudiness and some cat scratches in there. So I didn't quite have a flat surface uh, to work with. It was a little premature spraying the paint on there. So I, I waited five minutes for this to harden up a bit and I took out my fine sandpaper and I sort of knocked down um, any scratches or any, any roughness that was in the surface. Uh, just one more time to get uh, the ideal foundation for paint. And I found that uh, with my second application of paint, it was it was really looking quite good. real thin coats about 10 to 12 inches away if you have a silver or gold car sometimes you can see stripes in your paint so what you want to do is follow up with some uh, some vertical passes And now when I take a closer look, I don't see the cloudiness. I don't see any fine scratching. Um, you might see some bumps, but that's okay. Um, you'll have to look very close uh, when the repair is done to see those bumps from a normal distance. You won't notice them. Uh, so we wait five minutes and we shake up our clear coat can for about uh, 60 seconds. And we'll put on one light coat of clear coat.
and that will follow up with a, uh, a fairly heavy coat here. You'll notice how much slower I move from left to right, making sure to overlap about 50% with each pass. Within 10 minutes, pull your paper, pull your tape, and you've got a virtually new bumper. And uh, you can wash the car, wax the car. Uh, it's permanent.